Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is the fourth time that we're gonna play with your mother. Sauce, we're going to use today velouté. You can take this velouté and make a mushroom sauce out of it. You can make a pot pie sauce out of it, which is what we're gonna do today, I'll show you in a minute. You can make a franchise sauce. It's many, many different things. It's sort of a blank canvas. You add the flavor, you make the food. Today we're gonna do a, a quail pot pie. I have this semi-boneless quail that we're gonna brown. We're gonna to toss together with carrots and shallots, some potatoes, a little bit of garlic, and we're gonna encrust it into this pie shell and make a basically a quail pot pie. What do you say we get cooking? So I took my semi-boneless quail and I cut it up into nice pieces so that it'll fit into the pot pie. First, we're gonna season our quail. That's right, salt and pepper all over. It's quail, they're small game birds. Um, they sort of uh, taste a little bit like duck, if you will. They're not gamey gamey, but they have a uh, nice little uh, twang, if you will. Instead of using butter for my velouté, which is the classic way to do it, I'm gonna take some chicken fat and render it out make liquid out of it. That's what rendering it out is. I'm gonna brown my quail in the chicken fat. So we're gonna take the little pieces, get that baby rolling, skin side down. You don't have to cook this too much. This is only gonna be like a three or four minute process because we're gonna bake him in the oven. We're gonna give the quail a nice sear on both sides. And then I'm gonna take it out of the fat because I don't want it to overcook. We're gonna use a separate plate because we don't want to cross contaminate. We don't want to get nobody sick for lack of a better word. And then I'm gonna take my veggies and saute those in the same pan. You can add anything you want. You can put mushrooms in it, you can put corn in it. Of course you can put peas in it, anything you want. So this is how we're gonna make our velouté. We're gonna saute in our chicken fat, which now has the quail flavor in it until the vegetables are translucent. I already cooked the potatoes. I kind of cheated on you a little bit because uh, they take the longest to cook. Once they're uh, sauteed about three, four minutes, you wanna season them, of course, salt and pepper. And then we're gonna take our flour and we're gonna dust the vegetables and the fat with the flour to make a roux. I know you've heard this word before, roux. It's a thickening agent. We're gonna dust that, and then we're gonna stir it in. We wanna cook the roux, we wanna cook the flour so we don't have that, that starchy, uncooked, uh, your mom's Thanksgiving turkey gravy essence to it. No lumps. Once the flour is cooked, we're gonna deglaze it with some white wine. You'll see instantly this is gonna start to thicken. And then we're gonna add our chicken stock. The flour, the wine, the chicken stock with the, with the chicken fat or butter is gonna give us that velvety um, sauce consistency that we're looking for. At this point, you can start adding your herbs. Um, you can add your cooked mushrooms, again, your corn, whichever whatever ingredients you want. I'm gonna put a little thyme and rosemary in it. I'm gonna return my quail to my sauce and let all of these flavors gel together. Now that we have our quail and our vegetables in our pot pie mix, it's nice and thick. We don't want, we don't want it to spill out of the pie shell, so we want it nice and thick. Now we're gonna spoon our meat and vegetables into our cooked pie shell. I bet you're wondering what I'm gonna do with the legs. I didn't wanna get them stuck inside the pot pie so that you're chewing on bones, so I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now we're gonna take our cover. I have a nice little piece of puff pastry in plastic so it doesn't dry out. And then I'm gonna take uh, something that is about the same size of the pot pie shell, and we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna get rid of the excess, and then we're gonna take our plastic in our hand and flip it over. 
pop that right on top and then press it in like a glove, baby, like a glove. Now I'm gonna take uh, egg yolk and a paintbrush and egg wash it so we get nice color on that. Be gentle, be gentle. Now we're gonna take the legs and we're gonna use them as a garnish. That way everybody knows what's in it. Cross them up, nice and relaxed, nice. Now we pop this in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. Pie shell's already cooked. The filling inside's already cooked. All you now need to do is cook the top of the pot pie and give a little crisp to the legs. See you in a little while, my friend. All right, our 15 minutes is up. Let's check our pot pie. Ooh, baby, look at that. There we go, boys and girls. A quail pot pie cooked to perfection. Now we have to take it out of this nice little aluminum doohickey so we can present it and eat it. Let's pray, let's pray. Yeah, we're gonna do a double flip, I think. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. I got it. We have to, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Girls, boys, people of all ages, I give you the fourth mother sauce, velute, in a pot pie with quail.